Hey you guys, it's your girl Tina. I hope you guys love the new intro. I had to shout out my fans from the top five craziest states that we talk about on my news channel. You know what I'm saying? To people who understand my news stories and my news channels and why we gave them the names, kudos to you. To the people getting their damn feelings over the names, stay the hell off my shit complaining and crying, okay? Thank you, how you doing? So anyways, we got another story y'all. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. So what's going down in Florida, you ask? What's going down is that we have a 31-year-old woman. Her name is Jamie Jilt. And basically, this woman is a proud gun owner. Um, she's a proud member of the NRA. She's been teaching her kids how to shoot since they were two. And she's always, you know, bragging about her guns and how she's quick with the trigger. You know, there's even pictures of her on social media posing with a huge gun and her baby. Well, what went down is that basically a police officer, you know, spotted a car driving really, really erratically. And then he goes to check on the woman in the car to find out the woman has been shot in the back by her four-year-old who is sitting behind her in a car seat. So this entire situation is just re damn ridiculous. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Her uh, young four-year-old son came into possession of a handgun inside the vehicle and accidentally shot her through the driver's seat. Right now, the Putnam County Sheriff's Office say they have a lot of questions after 31-year-old Jamie Gilt was shot by her son at this intersection in Interlochen. One of our deputies was on patrol on State Road 20 and near the intersection of Roland Avenue when he came across a, a truck towing a horse trailer that was stopped partially in the roadway. So as he began to slow to check on that vehicle, he noticed that the lady in the driver's seat was motioning to him as if she needed assistance. According to authorities, the woman's son, a four-year-old in the back seat, had accidentally shot his mother through the back. She was taken to UF Health and is now in stable condition. And though deputies say this family has gone through enough for today, the sheriff's office will soon have to make some big decisions after these questions are answered. And those questions center around uh, how was the firearm secured, where was it carried in the vehicle, and exactly how did the young boy come to be in possession of the firearm. The Florida Department of Children and Family Services has also been notified and is investigating how the child got a hold of that gun. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. You know, first of all, I don't feel bad for this woman. This woman is very extremely lucky that she was not killed. Her son could have easily just as well shot her in the back of her head as opposed to the back of her chest. This is the thing that gets me about gun owners. They want to do all this bragging about all these guns they have, but then in the same breath, they're not practicing gun safety. This is no different than that woman who was killed at Walmart a few months ago when her two-year-old reached into her purse, pulled out a gun, and shot her in line in front of everybody. You know, this whole situation makes no sense whatsoever. That baby probably had no idea what he was doing. Once again, he's probably thinking it's a toy. Why would you have a gun in the vicinity of a child? Why did she not have the gun in her glove box put away? You know, just makes no sense. It's like if you're going to be a gun owner and brag about guns, make sure you're smart about this situation. She's very lucky that police officer saw her driving erratically and went to check it out because had nobody seen her, she very well could have died in that car or she could have crashed and killed her four-year-old as well. You know, so the whole situation is just crazy and re damn ridiculous. I hope she learns from this and I hope people learn that guns are not toys and stop treating them as if they're toys and as if they're no big deal. You know what I'm saying? This woman is very, very lucky that she survived this shooting. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy ass situation that's once again coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.